If anyone is not familiar with the pageant of the Masters, they're in for a real treat. You know, I've heard a lot of interesting things, but I'm not 100% sure what I'm about to see. I heard it's the most interesting, fascinating, come to life piece of art. That is what I've heard, and I can't wait to experience it for myself. People literally move into the form of the photo, but it's in a large human scale on a stage. I mean, the curtain goes up, and you see these works of art, and then you go, wow, look at that painting, it looks real. And then you realize that they are people. It's all put together before it comes around on the stage, and you're left to find where the human beings are there. It's great fun. We're on a stakeout waiting for somebody to move. <laughs> and they don't, like sometimes, they, but when they do, it's exciting. It's difficult to describe the pageant of the masters when you try and tell people who've never been here what it is, they kind of scratch their heads and give you a funny look. But essentially, it is great masterworks of art from previous centuries and even more recent years, recreated by living models on our pageant stage. And when the light goes up through the magic of stage lighting, makeup, and costumery, it really appears that you are looking at the original work of art blown up on the stage, life-size and larger. It's just magnificent. The way the, the artisans decorate with the, with the makeup and the hair and the wardrobe and the setting and the lighting, it's just it's glorious. That makeup can take anywhere from 20 minutes to up to an hour. It's kind of this whole assembly line that they send you through backstage, so all the cast goes through that every single night. This is an exciting year. It's the 85th anniversary of the festival, and here we are on the newly redone festival grounds. We have a dedicated entertainment area where we have live entertainment every night during the summer. We have fine restaurants, cafe-style outdoor seating, something for everybody. I don't know where you can find a more varied collection of artists in different styles and genres. They're astounding artists here. You know, some of them are here year after year, and I remember them, and some of them are new. And so it's, it's always exciting to see. Well, tonight Herb Alpert is playing, one of my favorites, and I'll tell you, there's a man that has stood the test of time, and no matter whether he was competing against the Beatles or the great jazz composers of our time, Herb Alpert always rises to the top. I remember 1966, I was six years old, and I used to get the plunger out of the bathroom, and I used to pretend I was Herb Alpert for my mom, and I used to play the plunger. I asked Herb if I could play tonight my plunger, he said no. Herb and, and Lanny were able to uh, join us tonight and had the opportunity to perform on our brand new festival stage. In case you haven't noticed, that stage is just one element of a complete transformation of the grounds that took place during last fall and winter. We think the remodel turned out really pretty well. Yeah. When you're looking at this art, realize that by supporting it, if you have the means to do that, Please do buy the art, uh, support the local community. This is, it goes so much deeper than just any one individual artist. What they do is tell a story with their sculptures or paint. What I do, I try to tell a story on stage or on film. And the pageant of the masters does it best to tell a story on this stage. Richard, why don't you tell us uh, what, we, what we're actually drawing from? The 2018 Acura TLX courtesy of our sponsor, Southern California Acura Dealers. All right, here it is. Noreen Cusick is the winner of the car. Congratulations. It's different every year. They choose different paintings, and so you get to see different paintings come to life. It's quite extraordinary. Interpretation of, of the classics in the flesh. <laughs> your favorite paintings live before your eyes. It's incredible. Uh, it's just masterful how they do this. It's really virtuosity in terms of art. Every year that we come, 
my wife and I bring someone who doesn't know anything about it. They don't know that there are people in the art. So I can't wait to see the reaction of the people when they go, wait, wait, what? Wait. It's really indescribable. All I would say is just go and find out yourself. I mean, because no matter how you describe it, they say, well, it's people recreating art live on stage. They think they know what it is until you see it. And then you realize, oh, it's much more than that.